What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with One Piece episodes 13 through 16. We are still on the same arc, which is something I'm very excited to say. I know some of the arcs later in the show get a lot longer, and I know they have like very distinct names. Like the only ones I pretty much know off tops are Marine Ford, Wano, Alabasta, Dressrosa, and I think that's it. And I know we're on the one right now, East Blue. So I'm very excited to continue this with Clahador, Usopp, Django to hopefully have Usopp join the squad just like his dad Yasop is a part of Shang's squad. So I, like I said, I am very excited to continue this, see where this is going. This is going to be a great journey. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. If you guys want early access and full length up to four episodes up to one week, check out that Patreon. Links are down below like always. You Make sure you guys come follow the Twitch as well so you guys can watch this live early and uncut with me. Make sure you guys check out the other uh, social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. You will get a lot of One Piece uh, TikToks over at TikTok. So make sure to go check out that TikTok as well. I've been editing a lot of them myself. Um, but let's hop right onto this. I am very excited. One Piece, episode 13. We're doing 13 through 16 right now. Um, I'm not going to read the title. i got to get used to that. It's very, it's very weird for me. But let's hop right on into this. It is about time they showed up. Don't get me wrong, I'm very excited, but I just love how they're pissed. Zoro's pissed at Nami, <laughs> and Luffy's pissed at Usopp. Yeah, so Django knows Kuro. He got chills. Oh. His hypnotism has worked great on enemies and our normal people, but is that... I didn't... Is that a thing where you can just say you'll be stronger? I need Django to go, you will blow up on TikTok. A hundred thousand followers. One, two, Django. So I was very excited because I thought Luffy and Zoro were going to come mop the floor with these guys, but now they're back and even stronger they got upgrades so this should be a good fight <laughs> luffy was looking at the thing he he was looking directly at him when he said one two Django. so luffy also got a power up i guess okay <laughs> gum gum gatling this man is throwing the haymakers <laughs> A power upgraded Luffy Gum Gum Gatling. I'm gonna have to remember that. He's got a goal. He's got a whole like armada. Is he gonna steal their ship or destroy it or pick it up or? Please tell me he's just picking up that center column bar. I mean, that's crazy enough in and of itself. Okay, he is. That's fucking insane though. Look at the strength of this man. I hope he's okay. He's just falling asleep with that super heavy thing just on his face. I know he's made of rubber, but still. Is this an actual nightmare Kaya's having? Oh, that's actually terrifying. Now is she going to walk in and see... Because I didn't get like the butler, the Alfred of this place. Is, uh, I didn't get his name, but he got smoked by claw door so yep mary i like that name i need claw door to at the very minimum get his ass whooped. oh he's still alive please confirm please tell her that it was claw door so she can at least go into this knowing that usopp was right and the claw door is very dangerous don't die please mary I know you're going to die, but you've done an honorable service, Mary. Thank you. Right? It really makes you think, yeah. You know, it's a classic tale of the boy who cried wolf, but you do feel bad for him when they're genuinely trying to help you out. Shouts out Mary for saying this in the end, you know. We're all thinking it. 
shouts out Mary for saying it. And what I'm thinking is, this is dying moments, man. And it's true. There still is time to to thwart his plan and save yourself, you know. I get that. I get that perspective, you know. Kind of like if you're getting mugged, they say don't fight back, just give them everything. Your life isn't worth it. We know that's not going to happen. We're not going to give him everything. Claudor has to get his ass beat. There's just no way. She said she's going to use talk no jutsu. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I know. That's what I'm saying, Gusab. Like, I'm worried about him, but... Yeah, we know that. Also facts. Oh, there's more? There's, m there's more on the ship? Meow Band Brothers. He's like a cow. See him and Butchie. Together we're the Meow Band Brothers. Now, I normally would write their names down, but I have a feeling they're going to be a one-episode mini-boss and get their asses whooped. And I have limited page space, so. Oh, wait. They're specifically calling out Zoro? With his hairy ass legs and his nutsack looking toes because of those sandals. I think he's gotta be he's gotta be capping, right? Yeah, he's capping. Ooh. Wait, did he steal two of our swords? Oh. Yeah, that's like fucking with a uh, Luffy straw hat. That's that's the ultimate disrespect to Zoro. These guys are kind of nice. We got Siam and Butchie. I wonder what Butchie is supposed to be after, but Siam is I'm assuming like a Siamese cat. Man, we know you as the three sword style. Well, let's see how you do. I have two swords up there right now. I got Inosuke and Sasuke's. I might have to get a couple of Zoro swords. Pussy Willow March. Ooh. Honestly, him blocking four sets of claws, 20 claws with one sword. My man is nice. Ooh, why did Zoro tank that did he know that was coming and tank it on purpose or did Usab just act oh no yeah that's what i was saying it looked like he saw it coming and then moved why is that though is he saying if you get involved in this you're gonna put yourself at risk I mean, I'm not saying, and I don't think he's saying that Nami and Usopp are weak like that, but I guess these these cat brothers, the Meow Band brothers, are kind of nice. I underestimated them. Okay. Now, can you guys answer me this on the comments below? Is Nami the main waifu of this show? Because so far, she's pretty waifu to me. I'm kind of like... That is right through the shoulder, it looked like. Right? Oh, my God. Oh, here comes Kuro, pissed as always. And we, if we didn't already have enough on our plate, dealing with the Meow Band brothers and Django, now we have Kuro as well. This man. Okay, okay. God damn. All right, on to episode 14. Let's do this. My man Luffy is asleep, like always. What do you expect? Is Kuro, like, that nice to where even the Meow Band brothers, Django, everyone is, like, tweaking that he's, like, that pissed off? I mean, he did... He did handle Mary real quick. Ooh, those veins in the forehead, never a good sign for an anime character. Was you guys being weak?
they're not dealing with Captain Kuro's bullshit right now. He's like, yeah, what are you trying to say? They're trying to say, you're rusty. We're on top of our game. They're, they've had enough of his shit. They've had enough of his shit. My man was Michael fucking Jackson with the moonwalking. What the fuck was that? He's got an individual sheath for every claw. The pussyfoot maneuver. There it is. His legendary pussyfoot. I just can't get over that sound, man. I mean, three years of not being reminded how strong he is. I couldn't understand how they've gotten con they would have gotten overconfident, you know. That's why he always lifts his glasses like that. That's actually, that's actually a clean reason because he's been doing that for episodes now. That's actually a clean. I fuck with that. danny has gone soft. He'll give you five minutes. He's a merciful captain. His final test. Honestly, if they can kill Zoro, Nami and Usopp should be easy for them, so they might be able to do this in five minutes. Obviously, they're not, but I'm curious how this is going to go down, especially with my man Luffy just knocked out. Oh, she snuck one of his swords. Oh, both of them. Good kick. Beautiful. My girl needs to play on Chelsea FC. Thank you, Missy. <laughs> Oh, that was clean. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Tiger. No, I don't. I. I actually don't. Oh, my God. Pretty much. Oh, they want the they want the dopamine boost. So Siam or, or Siam died. So it's just Butchie who's and he's getting the fucking hypnosis boost. Zoro said his fucking attack could powderize every bone in your body before. Now this man is fucking cracked out. Okay, Destructo Disc. Okay, the heel kick. Great way to wake up. Oh my god, that could chop her fucking head off. I hope she like, ooh, give her the quick duck, give her a slight haircut, you know? Well, Nami saved. Luffy... Did this man catch it with his mouth? I thought it chopped my dude's head off for a second. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell if that's great or bad timing. <laughs> oh my god, my man is a savage. Imagine how much... I was gonna say, that could have cut your lips, that could have... That's what I'm saying. For the treasure, right? That's like, that's not what we're about to... Yeah, it all work. <laughs> yeah. For my treasure. Yeah! <laughs> they are petrified. So would I be, though. After seeing the last thing he did. Alright. So, Django's got Luffy. And Butch Butchie has, has Zoro. And then after that, the winner has to deal with Kuro. This is going to be a showdown right here. Like, look at that shot. That looks like a painting. Okay, 3D models back in the day. Yes. How come I actually forgot Kaya was going to come in and be a, such a crazy variable thrown into the mix, you know? Oh. 
Oh my god, this man was just gonna be like, yo, no one sneaks up behind me and just slash whoever it was. Look how I didn't realize those claws were that long. God damn. He's like, that was so yesterday, right? Like, we gotta worry about your safety. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. Come on. I already love Kaya and Usopp. I already want them to have like 75 kids together. Now, over three years spending life with someone, even though you had malicious intent and in trying to take all their shit, you could still grow attached to them. So I'm curious how Kuro or Clahador is going to do, you know, how he's going to deal with this. If he says specifically killing her, I'm going to be butthurt. Okay, and what will give you peace of mind? I mean, you're going to have a fortune. How does that not give you peace of mind? Nah. Nah, this guy is sick in the head. So, I, nah. I was going to I was going to say maybe Kuro can have a change of heart and, you know, turn over his ways and try to, you know, turn himself in and go to jail, but he's got to die. Yeah, we got to whoop ass. We got to kill this man. She got the strap. Oh. Don't get me wrong. I respect the bravery. I respect that standing up to Clahador, but this man was pussyfooting like, broo, broo, like, yeah. What is that gonna do? Don't get me wrong. I'm sure their memories are very happy, very good memories. But I can't think that all that was fake. Oh, he is a good manipulator. I endured it. Come on, this man. Mm. He is talking shit right now. That's what I'm saying. Klahador and Kuro's gotta die. Usopp said, hey, you dropped the blicky, I'm gonna grab it. Is he letting that thing ring, though? Ooh. He said, boy, who you think you playing with? I'm Michael Jackson. He said, thriller. Oh, my God. That was one of the most beautiful out of nowhere gum gum punch. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that. <laughs> with the Oh. <laughs> okay, that was fire. Okay, that was the way I wanted that episode to end right there. Oh my god. I was out of nowhere. All right, on to episode 15. Let's do this. We're leaving off exactly at the same spot. Kuro just got clobbered. I cannot wait to see more Devil Fruits. I mean, so far we've seen opposable limbs and we've seen stretchable limbs like what else is there look at how pissed he is look at how pissed he is <laughs> hell yeah the squad is here with the finishing move nah they had to get that hidden they're jumping his ass they don't give a fuck Yeah, you boys better be careful. That man is quick and literally silent. I don't think he is that pissed at them, though. He is way more pissed at Luffy for that. Or Usopp. He still owes Usopp that hit. See, I thought Hunter x Hunter was insanely creative when it comes to their powers. But just, I know this show is going to be super creative and i am way too excited like the possibilities are literally endless okay i was about to say yeah with the hypnotism so jango's gotta kill kaya and the three and the three kids you think zoro's gonna let that happen 
Uh, we still do have fucking Super Saiyan Butchy to deal with. Look at this guy. Cat. Pastrophe. That's kind of funny. Tell him to run away. Or what are they... I would hope you guys would run away, though. This is so dangerous. So knowing they're not going to run away, he tells them to protect Kaya. Most important task there is now. Facts, honestly. Leave me behind. Take Kaya. Get out of here. Hey, but it's all about the way you word it, you know. Come on. They said we know the woods like our backyard. Hell yeah. These kids are goaded. Ooh, Usopp hit him with the slingy. So we got Butchy and Zoro, Luffy and uh Kuro, and Django going out to get the, the Usopp pirates, the squads. That was a good kick. Oh no. Yeah, Luffy has had enough of Clahador shit and shouts out Zora. That was a clean cut. Ooh, the way he resheats all of his swords, that was that was clean. That was clean. Okay, Zoro, okay. The hell was that shot sound we just heard? I know. What is this, Hunger Games? So somehow Usopp's got to find the strength. Yeah, you got to get up, go help them, man. I know you're down for the count, but Zoro and Luffy about to whoop some Kuro ass. See, in Dragon Ball, we had Sensu beans, man. We need something. Ooh, my man is finding that inner strength. Go help those kids. It's called Resolve. It's called Willpower right there. My man is really out. My man is... That's what we love to hear. It's a real man right there. There's a reason Evan from RTTV loves Usopp, man. Oh, hell no. Yeah. No way you're roasting my boy for him having the willpower and resolve like that. Come on. I'm so glad Luffy got just as pissed as I did. Like, a man willing to put his life on the line for something he cares about like that? Come on. Good. Okay. I'm loving this. I'm loving Luffy so far. <laughs> that was clean. Oh, that that quick step. It's the right thing to do. Actually, yes. Facts. This is like my first time seeing Luffy fight with someone who's actually like on par or the closest we've seen on par with him. Kuro's kind of nice and he's fast. Kuro technically is supposed to be dead. Oh, 
I mean, a life on the run is no life at all, so I get that, you know? Ooh, this is a flashback. So if that name is what draws him here, let's kill the name. I am now Clahador. Kuro, in a small boat, went over to this Navy vessel who was attacking them and single-handedly killed every single one on the, sh on the ship, all the Marines. Wow. So we're going against someone actually pretty damn strong when it comes to Kuro, you know? Man of a thousand plans. So that's how they were able to, uh, that's okay. Wow, I didn't realize we'd actually get the backstory on how Kuro s specifically died, but this is actually pretty smart. They had an entire plan, Django hypnotized both sides, return to the base, execute this man, an official surviving Marine. My man's strong as shit. I know, right? I've toughened myself up to be a pirate. That was actually hella smart to get rid of his claws. That was a bar. You're not fit to be a pirate if having your name out there scares you. He's gonna be king of all pirates. His ambition, oh, not even funny. Oh, out of nowhere, man. These episodes are feeling quicker and quicker, I swear. All right, on to episode 16, the final one of this little bunch. Let's do it. We got the kids running off with Kaya in the forest, Django right on their ass, Zoro right on his ass. Is that his chakram? Is like destructo disc thing he's throwing? Bro, that thing's got some power. I'm not sure how much Kaya can keep up with this running. She is, you know, still sickly. Don't sneeze. Oh my god. His, imagine his brain just splattered <laughs> in his skull. Heck no, girl. We're all, we're protecting you, right? The fact that he can just throw those, knock down a clear 10, 15 trees, and then just keep checking is fucking crazy. These, these three kids got some spunk, got some spirit. Prepare yourself, Usopp pirates. They're putting their lives on the line. I know, right? I respect them. They got the resolve. They got the willpower to join the squad. I'm not saying they're going to join Luffy and the gang, but... Kuro's had enough. He's honestly... He's so pissed. He's like my mom. He's so pissed to the point where he's just going to kill everyone. <laughs> like, my mom has gotten that bad before. <laughs> yep, he's going to kill his whole squad. Django. Entire village. Kaya. Oh, really? I mean, he did say he wanted peace of mind, so he actually is deranged. I know, right? Luffy's like, this is the exact opposite squad I'm trying to have. Nah, I mean, you're not wrong. Most of them are social outcasts, but definitely not like this. I mean, eh, you know, we're going to have a little debate about that. Luffy is not liking what you just said when it comes to. Nah. 
you haven't met some of the pirates Luffy's met. Your idea of a pirate group, of a pirate squad, is completely so wrong. And they and he looks down on Usopp so much. That was one of the biggest insults that Luffy could have said to him. Right? He's like, does he got these Michael Jackson feet like me? He's like, no, he's just not an asshole. Ooh, okay, backhand? I do like how much, no matter how much of a bitch Kuro is, because don't get me wrong, he is a bitch. This guy right here, he's a bitch. He is hella badass, though. He is very strong. So this man is just a fucking mist that kills people? What is he? He doesn't even know what he's cunning. He's just as fast as he can. <laughs> Luffy, are we going to do something about this? He's looking for an opening. He just can't see it. He's waiting. My man is getting slicity slashed. Now, when I was young and I watched SpongeBob and I heard about the hashing and slasher, this is what I thought about. Oh, he's thinking of Shanks. Ooh, this aspect ratio. That's the one thing you never turn against your friends. You always back up your friends. Ooh. My man was able to somehow find that opening and hit him with the over the head. Yes. Any douchebag can be like you. I love the way Luffy put that. And you think you're intimidating someone? Get them fucking claws out my face. Okay. So the the squad has a plan. What are they going to do? They got the fake white flag. Okay. <laughs> Hit him with the wire trap. Now what? We jump him? A pepper attack? They hit him with the herbs and spices? Right into his nuts? Oh, these kids are fucking cracked. Look at this dude. <laughs> Imagine getting pepper loaded in your face and smacked right in your fucking cojones. Don't tell me they hit him with a three-piece fucking combo. The log... On his feet? End of the line, hypnotist. Damn it. I wanted these kids to have the fucking ultimate, like, victory this episode. I need Zoro and Usopp to come out of the woods and clobber Django at any second now. Come on. Oh, I was hoping that would just be them. Hmm. She is quick with it. She's putting her own life on the line. I respect it. So she did it. She officially signed the will. Yeah, but he did give his word not to kill the kids. But he didn't say anything about not killing her. 
But little does Django know that Kuro said he's gonna come out here, kill Django and everyone else anyway. It doesn't even matter. Kaya better not die. Zoro better come in and do something. That out of the back technique is actually strong as shit. Oh, we're still in this arc? I I want to know what happens so bad. Oh. <sighs> All right, we are still on this arc. I was not expecting to be saying that. We're still going to be continuing it. Next episode, we're continuing Kuro versus Luffy. I love how Luffy has been like hating and roasting on Kuro for not only him being evil, but just his attitude towards being a squad and piracy in general. He's just like, bro, you're a bitch. And I love Luffy. I love his, his, I love the way he treats people. Like he loves people who, it doesn't matter if they look down on you. If he likes you, he likes you no matter what. Like he said, Usopp is like a better man than Kuro will ever be. And when uh, Usopp was like crying, talking about who he loved and all the other pirates were roasting him, he was like, what's so, oh, I just love, I think Luffy's going to be a great main character so far. I really like Zoro. Nami's just doing her thing, getting all the treasure. Usopp being the man Usopp is. Usopp, son. Usopp, son. So I'm loving it so far. The three kids, the Konohamaru gang. They're the Usopp pirates, I should call them. I gotta, I gotta put respect on their name. They're savage. Shouts out to them on their plan when dealing with Django. Django's just a little too strong for them. I get it. Uh, Kuro's, uh, first off, his pussyfooting technique, and then his out-of-the-back technique is fucking crazy as well. He said, that man just, ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, it's kind of insane, you know? But all in all, um, like, I am thoroughly enjoying these parts, and people say this is, like, the weakest part of One Piece, and the weakest part and in terms of animation-wise, like, literally everything. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this, so when I get to, like, 100 plus, 200, 300 plus, I don't even want to picture how deep and how invested I'll be into the show. Like, I, how invested was I into Black Clover? There was only 170 episodes of that. I was, I was, they had me fucking crying. Thought, oh, I don't need, this is going to be a crazy ride. I'm glad you guys are on it with me. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access up to four episodes and full length. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.